for the gaming community, the Wii Remote seems to be one of the best inventions this century. In this video, I'm going to show you some cool things you can do with the Wii Remote and your PC. For this project, you're going to need a Wii Remote, and if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth built into it, you'll need a Bluetooth adapter as well. The first website is called bluesowill.com, and it, this application is a free trial application. You have to pay for the full version, but in this video, using the free trial will work just fine. So I'm downloading the free trial version of it, and once you install it, it puts this little Bluetooth Places shortcut on your desktop. Now if you take your Wii Remote and press down on the one and two buttons at the exact same time, you should see uh, a little icon like this pop up in your Bluetooth Places folder and if you right click on it and select connect it should turn green which means it's connected. Now if you do a Google search for Win Remote and that has two eyes in it you, you should end up at this website uh, which allows you to download the little Win Remote application. And once you download it and extract it uh, this is what the program looks like and it has a little enable cursor button and if you click on that it should allow you to use your Wii Remote as the mouse cursor for your computer. And you can tilt it left and right and up and down to go left, right, up and down, or you can also use the arrow keys on the Win Remote to do the same thing. And if you click on the A button, that's the same thing as doing a, a left mouse click. And if you click on the B button, that's the same thing as doing a right mouse click. So in this example, I've just opened up a little paint application and I'm showing you how you can uh, uh, move around the Wii Remote and simulate mouse clicks and dragging the mouse. The next application is called Glove Pie, so if you do a Google search for that, it should take you to this website and you can download their application and it's free as well. And this allows you to run different scripts, so if you extract it and double click on glovepie.exe, go to file and open you should see a little Wiimote scripts folder and this has a ton of different scripts that you can try out and it kind of gives a, a description of them I just opened up the NES.py script and then clicked run and what that does is it allows you to use your Wii remote as uh, an NES controller so this is my little NES emulator that I showed you in the last video and I'm using the Wii Remote kind of like a, a classic NES uh, controller. I just turn it sideways and you can move around and do all the basic functions with that. Now you can see that there's a Google Earth script that you can run and then there's also a Google Earth IR script that you can run. Both of these work but the Google Earth IR requires the uh, Wii sensor bar and that just has little uh, infrared LEDs in it um, so you can also use a, a couple of candles but I, it, it's preferred to use the sensor bar and you can see that above my screen with the blue light and uh, this allows you to kind of zoom and fly around Google Earth using a combination of the sensor bar and the Wii remote so that's a pretty cool little script this is a PowerPoint script that allows you to navigate through PowerPoints and then this right here is a Counter-Strike script that allows you to use the Wii Remote to control uh, the Counter-Strike player. They also have scripts for Call of Duty and a whole bunch of other games and applications. You'll just have to mess around with it. Now if you do a Google search for Wii Whiteboard that takes you to Johnny Chung Lee's website and uh, if you play the video he gives you steps on how to set up uh, a, a virtual whiteboard using the Wii and how to create uh, a little uh, infrared pen for it. And you have to have an infrared pen for this to work. Um, if I just launched the application. This little infrared pen I have, I just uh, ripped apart an old remote control and hooked a battery up to the infrared LED that was, that was in it. So this pretty much turns any surface into uh, a touch screen. So if you have a projector, you can project uh, this image up on a wall and just touch the wall and it, it will 
uh, simulate a touch screen. But as you can see, I just have my Wii Remote pointing directly at my screen, and I'm using, uh, that kind of turns my screen into a touch screen computer. Now right below the Wii whiteboard application is the desktop VR or virtual reality application. And if you download that and launch it, it launches a bunch of targets. And this requires uh, not only the Wii remote but also the sensor bar, kind of like the Google Earth application does. And the orientation of the targets follows wherever the uh, sensor bar is. So if you have this on like a hat or, or glasses or something, it's as if uh, the targets are following you around, kind of gives you a virtual reality type feel. So that's a really cool application um, for, for that. So give all these a try out. They're a lot of fun. And for more, go to tinkernut.com.